Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we have another Choose Only One video and we are focusing on PDW's personal defense weapons, short little firearms and pistol calibers. I'm going to feature seven, so I'm going to ask for you to choose only one of my seven or any one that you prefer. So let's get to it. Here we have a Ruger PC charger, check out the length of that. But it's a bit heavy with all steel construction, has a 6.5 inch barrel, very easy disassembly with the forend. It's suited for Glock mags, comes out of the case with a magwell for the Security 9 mags. I have a Sightmark Volta on here, it's a solar powered and battery powered red dot. It's a great setup, but I think this is great. It comes with this handguard here. You just hold it out front like that, and it's extremely accurate. That 6.5 inch barrel. A little bit heavier, but it's built like a tank. Uh, you're looking at closer to $900 these days for the Ruger PC charger, but what it offers is very cool. Also, M-Lock slots. Everything's m -lock these days. You know, so uh, those key mods have kind of gone out of fashion. When Bursa started producing PDWs, a lot of people were excited, as was I. Very excited. This is a bar nine. This comes two ways, with an eight-inch barrel and a four-inch barrel. This is a four-inch barrel with a KAW compensator. There are six compensators right there. It has, like, no recoil. None. Very nice handguard. Once again, M-Lock. Fit to accept Glock mags. They also have some for the TPR9 mags. You could you could get that as well. I have a Bushnell First Strike 2 on there. The overall length is 21 and a half inches. It has a pad right there. Air light controls disassembles the same way. Same charging position. Great firearm. I think Bursa did a great job with it. They have a lot to be proud of here. And it's priced right. MSRP right around 800 bucks and compared to some of the others that is a great price with many options with the Bursa Bar Series. Here's a fan favorite. It's an X-Star EP9 Gen 2. The Gen 2 models are much improved in my opinion. You can tell they have this very cool handguard that is M-Lock slotted for accessories. Comes with a flash can and this is where X-Star started making their own Glock pattern magazines. The EP9 has mags with 18 rounds, which is really nice, but it is Glock mag compatible, all polymer frame and upper, making it very light, extremely light, and it also has a blowback system, a delayed blowback system that makes that decreased weight not feel the recoil at all with the 9mm. Buffer tube right there, I have the Vortex Spark, Overall, great package. This has been very reliable for me. And budget priced it for $49. This is a Diamondback DBX, chambered in 5.7 by 28 millimeter. Comes with 20 round mags, very short and lightweight. Hard coat, anodized frame, M-lock handguard here. It has an eight inch barrel with a Diamondback flash hider. Mag pull grip, very lightweight. You could shoot this like any other pistol. Have a Burris, Fast fire on there. Very lightweight, small, easy to control with 20 round mags of 5.7. MSRP is 1300 and a half. So it's not a cheap firearm, but certainly a straight shooter. Here we have another X Star. Looks like the EP9, but it's not. It's an EP45. A lot of people wanted X Star to make more caliber offerings. 45 ACP specifically, and they did. This is a newer release. Has the same M-Lock polymer handguard, flash can as the 9mm. The overall length is the same. The barrel length is the same at 6.5. This has Glock mags. Once again, it ships with a Glock 21 slash 41, 13 round mag, and 45 ACP. X-Star is making their own grip. I have a sight mark. Mini shot, A spec FMS on there with the riser. Great alignment of sight to the target. Has a pad on the buffer tube. Overall, the same impressions with the delayed blowback system with the EP9, but this is in 45 and I couldn't be happier with it. Only 50 bucks more MSRP than the EP9 for 499. Here we have a CMMG Banshee 300 chambered in. 
5.7 by 28 millimeter. Nice capacity here. Very short with a 5 inch barrel that is threaded. M lock handguard, rail up top. I have a sight mark ultra shot, M spec ultra shot on there. It's like an EOTech, but not at the EOTech price. Excellent overall firearm. Very accurate, smooth shooting. Also has a delayed rollback system, but you know, CMMG, also, you're going to pay for it. You're looking at an MSRP right around $1,500 for this Banshee 300. But I love the way it fires, and the the accuracy in the 5.7 is very cool. Here is the Zenith ZF5. It's an MP5 clone made in the USA by Zenith. It's a great firearm. It has a roller delayed blowback system. Very light shooting 9mm like nothing 8.9 inch barrel a three lug flash hider comes with three magazines a sling a ton of stuff in the case i have a vortex spitfire on there beautiful firearm very well crafted and machined very short it is pricey though you're looking at over two grand for this msrp and you'll have to decide but if you want a first class mp5 clone check out the zenith zf5 it is really cool those are seven pdws that i own i know there are many more out there i've shot several more i just didn't own it or i don't currently own it but that's what i have currently if you had to choose only one which one would you choose or do you have something else that you think is even a little better let me know and be sure to choose only one. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.